So here is ESP at any number. You'd show them the five symbols repeated four times for a total of 20. You'd have two spectators think of a number between 1 and 20. You don't want them to think of the same numbers, so you have spectator number 1 think of an even number, and number 2 thinks of an odd number. So let's say volunteer number 1 thinks of 12. So on here, they're thinking of the square. So here is the move. You would actually turn this around to face spectator number 2, who's going to think of an odd number, and you would just tilt it in their direction. So spectator number 1 was thinking of the square. Let's say this guy thinks of 7. Completely free choice. So according to this, he's thinking of plus. So you have the plus and the square. All right. There are three possibilities. They can think of the plus, each think of the plus, each think of the square, or each think of the plus and the square. So in this case, each of them are thinking of a plus, a plus and a square. So you could do a verbal reveal saying, put your hands up. Now I'm getting the symbols. If you're thinking of the plus and the square, put down your hands. And that covers both outs. If you're doing this for one-on-one, -on -one, you would have to do it this way. You couldn't do the verbal reveal. So you'd ask number one, they can only think of the uh, plus or the square. So whatever symbol they took, you would um, slide out your appropriate um, prediction, your double-sided prediction. That's for doing it one-on-one. -on -one. Now to repeat this effect, you would obviously swap out your uh, prediction to, uh, I don't have a star ways, but you need a double-sider for that. You keep it in the same orientation on your hand. The only thing you change is you would say, I want spectator number one or volunteer number one think of an odd number this time. And so they're going to say, let's say three, according to the chart. They're thinking of that. And again, here's the move. You're turning this around to face spectator or participant number two. And you just slightly rotate that. So they're going to think of an even number this time. So let's say ten. They're thinking of waves. Or they could switch their mind and go... Um, Star. It, it doesn't really matter. Again, same reveal, verbal uh, reveal. I'm thinking of the waves and the star. If I got your symbol, put your hand down. 